welcome students today we will study msc final chemistry paper first photochemistry part 7 applications of photochemistry the important applications of photochemistry are discussed which are as follows first is the process of photosynthesis which the plants carry out takes place with the help of sunlight radiation Photochemistry displays its importance in the synthesis of some important compounds like vitamin D from ergosterol, caprolactam, insecticides, etc. Next is fluorescent tubes and x-rays work on the phenomenon of fluorescence and phosphorescence. These are all photo-induced processes. Next application is Photography and lithoprinting. They both work on the principle of photopolymerization. Next application is photochromic materials like spiropyrenes are used in sunglasses. These materials are photosensitive. They change their color when some radiation is incident on them. And revert to the original color when it is cut off. Next application is photochemistry plays important role in the manufacture of many inorganic compounds. Next application is in the manufacture of integrated circuits used in electronic devices. Next important application is in the process of vision, which we will study detail later. Next is bioluminescence. Example, in fireflies, in enzyme in the abdomen catalyzes a reaction that produced light. Next application of photochemistry is in the synthesis of antioxidants by photosulfonation. Next application is in the manufacture of cleaning solvents by photochlorination. Their latest application is in laser technology. Lasers are intense monochromatic and coherent beams of radiation. Next application photo Flash photolysis work on the phenomenon of photochemistry. Apart from these all important applications of photochemistry, there are many more applications. So just try to figure out them, try to find some more and try to write some more applications. There are n number of applications of photochemistry. You can search and write them accordingly. Now next question is what is the difference between photochemical reactions and thermochemical reactions. Thermochemical reactions involve absorption or evaluation of heat. Photochemical reactions involve absorption of light. Thermochemical reactions can take place even in the absence of light that is dark. The presence of light is the primary requisite for the reaction to take place in photochemical reaction. In thermochemical reactions, temperature has significant effect on the rate of a thermochemical reaction. While in case of photochemical reactions, temperature has very little effect on the rate of a photochemical reaction. Next is the free energy change delta G of a thermochemical reaction is always negative. While the free energy change delta G of a photochemical reaction may not be negative. And the last one is thermochemical reactions 
they are accelerated by the presence of a catalyst. Photochemical reactions, some of them are initiated by the presence of a photosensitizer. However, a photosensitizer acts in a different way than a catalyst. Thank you so much. Two more questions I want to give you. Try to write the answers of them. The first one is, give Jablonski's diagram describing dissipation of energy from higher to lower level. And second is, describe the mode of energy transfer from one molecule to another. Try to write the answers of these two questions. Also try to write some more important applications of photochemistry. And please email me on my email ID, which I have given you earlier. Thank you so much.